techniques I want to show from this little uh, two-on-one situation here, right? The guy's got uh, your shin across his body. He's pretty close to getting this pass where you know, he drops his hand here, he stops you, right? Comes through and gets to here, okay? So we're going to try to prevent that. Here's a couple ways how. First thing is if he comes down you like this, you want to push him away. You want to get space. I like to push on the head and the shoulder, right? Get inside through my knee, inside to his elbow pit, for lack of a better term. Grab his wrist, take my right hand, I'm going to dive through. Then from here, I'm going to kick him over and get up, okay? Another cool sweep you can do from there. All right, so you're here. He's got more of an established position now, so you don't feel comfortable with that one. You're going to take your hand, you're going to grab his wrist. As he starts to come through, you're going to push his hand into him and roll him right over you and get into a, either a north-south here or a side mount. Okay? <coughs> Following right along here. If you uh, want to do something a little different, from here, you bridge up a little bit to his head, keep your hands to his head, push him away, bring your leg over, catch the wrist, catch the elbow for the, uh, the Kimura. Okay? From here, let's say he's got really flexible arms, he postures up. Come right in, catch the triangle. Or, if you're back here and he straightens his arm to avoid the Kimura, you can get the razor. So there's a few things you can do from this two-on-one position. All right? You don't always have to get your guard passed. 